Welcome to webinar number two, creating an account. This is the first piece of the puzzle for the homeowner builder in preparing to submit their drawings and specifications to the building department for compliance with Title 24 energy requirements. In our presentation today, we will go over the process of setting up an account with an Energy Commission approved HERS provider. For the purpose of the presentation today, we will be looking at CalCERTs. This presentation is brought to you as a courtesy of Pacific Modern Homes and Red Tape Express. Creating an owner builder account with CalCERTS is an easy process. The first step is to access CalCERTS website. Their website address is http colon slash slash calcerts.com. When you access their website, their page will come up and you will notice that it is filled with information, but the only portion you're really interested in at this stage are the three buttons in the upper right-hand corner of the screen. The one that we will work with today is Register. So click on the Register button and you will see a welcome screen provided by CalCERTS and they're going to be asking you what type of account do you want to create. And you're looking at Homeowner Builder, which is the fourth item down. Click on the green button across from Homeowner. The website will then provide you with two options to indicate if you have an account with CalCERTS already. We're going to assume no, that you do not have an account. And then you will see an alert screen. This page is for homeowners only. If you're any one of the people listed on the left here, which is HERS Raider Builder, uh, you, they would be in the wrong location and they would have a button here to click to to go to the right location. You are in the right area for a homeowner builder. So just scroll down the screen and you will see a welcome message from CalCERTS and they'll be asking you to provide certain basic information. This is a three-step process. In step number one, the first question they ask is, do you have a claim code? We will assume that you are taking a proactive approach in getting your account established early on in the process, so the energy calculations have not been completed. As a result, you will not have a claim code. Claim code can only be provided once the energy calculations have actually been uploaded to the registry by your energy consultant. So we'll leave that blank. Go down to the second item, which is registration type. Let's click on new building. Then you will type in your name. In this case, we're going to say custom. And no middle initial, last name, homeowner. Okay, address is going to be 1234 Main Street. And we're going to say that we live in Elk Grove, California, and the zip here is 95758. Then you'll go on to provide your, uh, your phone number. In this case, 916 is the area code 684-1111. If you have an extension, you will provide that. You'll notice that all of the areas that are being completed all have a red asterisk by the right-hand corner. Okay. If it does not have a red asterisk, such as the middle initial or the claim code, you do not have to put any information in there. There is an opportunity to put a fax number in if you would like to, but again, it's not required. However, at the bottom of the screen, it is required that you provide them with an email address. And we're going to call it uh, custom.owner at gmail.com. Double check the email address to make sure that it's correct. It's important that this be typed in accurately because this is the method of contact for CalCERTs. This is where they will send your username and password. You cannot complete the account setup process without having access to your email. So once this is done, click Next. It will take you to Part 2. In Part 2, it's going to just reiterate what you actually put in that your registration type is for a new home, uh, that your name is custom homeowner, your address, your phone number, uh, your email address, all that's correct. You don't need to go back and change anything. But now you need to provide them with some type of identification. The uh, two options are to scan an ID 
and it has to be a legal ID with your photograph on it. So driver's license is fine, passport's fine, anything of that nature that has your name and a photograph on it can be used. Or you can fax it to them, either way. For the purpose of this demonstration, we're going to assume that you have scanned it in. Then we're going to pick choose a file, and we're going to go locate that file. So in my computer system, I know that the scanned ID is located right here, driver's license. So I'm going to click that and put that in there. Now once that's done, I will click Next. Okay, under Next, it's going to again reiterate the information that we had before. And now it's going to ask you to uh, complete some information. It's going to ask you to pick the electronic signature option. You have three choices. You can pick a font style. They have three listed here. You can use a web capture if you have a uh, digitizer and you want to use that. That's possible. If you've scanned in your signature and you want to use your real signature, you can pick the option number three. For the purpose of this demonstration, though, we're just going to say that uh, it's simple. It's a font style. We're going to pick font style A. We're going to say, OK, once you've clicked that button, you'll be brought forward to the final confirmation stage of setting up your account. Again, you'll see the same information that uh, was listed before. There will be a picture of the ID that you have scanned and uh, sent to CalCerts, and they'll be showing you the font choice for your signature. So if all of this is correct, you would click the Submit button. Once you click the Submit button, you have now successfully created an account with CalCerts. In a few hours to a few days, you will receive an email from CalCerts. The email will indicate that you have a username and password. Please keep this information in a safe location that is easily recoverable. You will need this username and password to log on to the CalCerts website and digitally sign the calculations. You will also need the same information to complete forms during the construction phase. Thank you for viewing the webinar today. I hope this information has been helpful. If you have any questions, my name is Dave Morgan. Please feel free to give me a call at my office or contact me by email.